Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and today, guys, in the build-through, I think I want to build something round. Now, I know... <laughs> we've oh got a little close there uh we've built some round stuff in my playthroughs before i really like round buildings as you know so this is going to be a lot of fun let's go check out the spot i've got it picked out already let's go ahead um i had someone ask me how i'm making the paths it's it's simple there's just a path and tool uh and i'm just using that to kind of carve it out it doesn't really change the landscape it just kind of removes the grass so it's pretty good if the hill is walkable already um if you want to slope a hill the best way I've found to do it is to walk beside where you want to lower and raise and actually hit the flatten tool that way. And that really seems to kind of like, I don't know, bring the slope with you, so to speak, you know? So anyway, so yeah, down here, I'm not really going to build it right now. Maybe we'll tag it in on the end of the video, but I might come back and add a bridge here because... We are going to build on a little island, so, you know, the decorations might go a little overboard on this one. <laughs> they, they might get a little crazy. Let's go ahead and swim over. The bridge is going to be super easy, too. Look at how shallow the water is here. Um, so the bridge will be super easy, and we might tack that on at the very end of the video and connect ourselves back. But I was going to build out here today. Yeah, these things. I love these standing stones in the meadows. They are awesome, and they really give you... I don't know, look at this flat space right in the middle. And this view out here is awesome. This is a really nice spot, and I'm hoping to build something really fantastic and round here. This build is going to be a little bigger than some of the other ones, because, you know, I don't know, I feel like uh, we're a little, we're getting into a little bit later in the build-through, so we'll make a little slightly bigger, a little bit more complex houses at this point. And this one's going to be pretty awesome, although it should be um, deceptively simple, actually. It should be deceptively simple if it works out the way I want it. But that's enough of me rambling. Let's get to building, shall we? First things first, I'm going to toss a couple of these. Uh, most of the build is going to take place entirely inside of uh, inside the ring here. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to toss one workbench over here and one over here. Don't forget to space them out. That way we don't have to worry about anything. All right, let's shape the ground. I'm trying to stay as far away from my, uh, my actual, like, cursor as I can. That way everything does keep this nice flat center that we've got going. So we're trying to yeah, use the use the placement marker out as far as we can. Okay. That looks good. Let's go ahead and start in on the floor, shall we? Alright, so this is the tricky part, and I have no secret method for it. We're just going to uh I don't know, we're gonna try and start maybe one one square in sure <laughs> we'll give that a try uh yeah just about right there yeah we'll try it right there all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go two two floors two two by twos then we're going to angle it once we're gonna get a nice big circle in here Yeah, about one floor. Okay, that's looking pretty good, guys. Let's go ahead and finish the circle like this. Again, uh, okay, a little less than one floor, but still, this is looking pretty close to center for me. Maybe not perfectly, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to fit inside. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. Okay, that helped pretty good. Just the little starting with that to get a little bit away from one and we're not perfectly in the center, I don't think, but that's close enough. And guys, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to center our house just like this, right in the middle of all these stones. And I'm doing it this way mostly because um, mostly because the wood beams and the material that we have to work with right now are a little limiting. And I've got a really fun, pretty big roundhouse in mind with it. But we are probably going to come back and do something else with these when we have access to core wood. <laughs> yeah, I have another build in mind, but that build wasn't possible, really. Not with the material we have now, but that's okay. Let's move on to the next part. So pick your entrance. Entrance is important. I'm liking this as my entrance right now. I'm just gonna mark that. I'm liking that as an entrance. This also looks like a good exit. 
Always like having to... What? I'm outside workbench area over here. That's looking awesome. All right, so we've got our two entrances. Feeling good about it. Let's go ahead and mark the entrances with the doors. There we go. Okay, and then we are going to ring the entire bottom in these nice 26 degree crosses. I know they're for the roofs, but we're using them down here. All right, placement's a little tricky. Let me do this. Zoom, here we go. Okay, nice ring. I'm actually getting ahead of myself. We should have uh, we should have put the um, should have put the flooring in first. So let's go ahead. We're gonna pull off of that main entrance, six floors, nice. And then directly across from it, we're gonna come out another six floors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, three three out. You know, not six total. Anyway. Um, actually, I'm doing this wrong. Uh, so the floor is a funny thing when you build in these big circles. Um, I actually should have just said to build this straight across because what's going to happen... Yeah, alright, so there's always this tiny, tiny little gap. But you know what? Right here, it's not going to matter. No, and, it, and it really isn't. We're going to fill that in with small ones because they don't seem to twitch so much. So we filled that in with the one by ones. Uh, so now it's full and we're gonna have to build off of the center here. So we want to count one two three pop Get rid of that one this one this one and this one that way we have our three on each side one two three One two three. there we go. What I'm gonna do is put one one by one on each corner and Then we're gonna build out from here Make sure it snaps with the center that you've got coming out, yeah, from the center. Don't snap it with the outside wall, but it should line up almost perfectly. There might be a tiny gap, and again, you can seal that in with the little one by ones, which I will do momentarily. Here we go. And you know, you can be more subtle about it. You can cover it up with rugs and, and structures and stuff, but. We're just going to do it like that for now. Okay, looking awesome. We are also going to... How high is this going to go up? I think it's going to go up... Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get pretty tall, actually. This is going to be a pretty tall build. Not like not like super tall. I, I, I don't want it to be huge. But I, think, I think it's going to come out maybe that tall. We're going to leave one of these... Whoa! We're going to leave one of these up here and see how that goes. Uh, that, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and seal in the floor, actually. So, for the floor, I'm going to tuck one piece in the corner there. Pick one of the angles that you want to go with. Uh, I kind of want to go this way. Just like that. Just keep it coming all the way over. That one didn't quite go where I wanted it to. There we go. All right. That is an awesome looking floor right there. Love it. All right, windows and support. So we're gonna go every two, one, two, and we're gonna throw down another one of these. The angle's not gonna matter too much until you get to the windows, and then you really want the window angles to line up. So I'm gonna pick this one as a window, because that's a really good view right there. Love it. Oh, yeah, we're going to have nice windows. Look at those. It's going to be awesome. All right, I was just testing to make sure. I was like, how did I build these again? That's how we build them.
there we go. And I am going to go and try and snap. Yep, there we go. We're going to try and wrap the whole place around. Here we go. This is just detail. This is not necessary. If you're trying to build this on your own, you know, this is a... This is an extra add-on. This is a lot of extra resource to do this. So I, you know, take it or leave it. I'm doing it purely for looks. There we go. Because on the outside, yeah, see that on the outside, it shows. They actually, they're a little thicker than normal walls, so they stand out a little more. I really, really like that. Well, look at that! Oh! I didn't plan on that at all, but I'm totally doing it. Oh, that looks so cool, actually. Why is that fantastic, guys? <laughs> yes! Oh, that looks great! That's hilarious! I love that. Oh, can you see it on the inside? Stamina, come on! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know why I like that so much. All right, that is my guess. And we're going to take the 26 degree roof. So we want to keep the roof pretty low. This place is pretty huge. I don't want it, I don't want the roof to get too carried away. So we're going to take the 26 degree roof and we're going to start and we're going to make um, we're going to make a little plus sign, a little perpendicular cross section here. We're gonna start with this roof here. Ooh, man, that sun is right in our eyes. There we go, we'll change that. We're gonna go up three. I think three is about the best you can do before it starts falling down. And once you get up to the third one, we're gonna switch to the 26 degree ridge. Snap that on there, and it did, look at that, it lined up perfectly. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. All right, let's do that on all the sides. On all four sides. We're going to get a nice little perpendicular cross section here going. Hang on. Oh, that worked out so well. Let's go ahead and add supports all the way across. Use the little normal two beam, two meter beams. Bam, look at that. Fantastic. Can't believe that worked out just, just the way I wanted it. Just the way I wanted it. All right, and the other thing I absolutely love um, working with 26 degree roofing because it blends into itself so much easier on corners and on slanted, like, yeah, on these angles, it blends into itself a lot better than the 45 degree. So surprisingly enough, we're gonna go around twice, uh, two layers. So we're gonna go around and do that upper layer as well um, after this bottom layer. And it's gonna place pretty much perfectly into itself. You'll see. And I am placing these by aiming right at the, right at the edge, right at the snapping point. All right. Now the next trick is to play. We're gonna follow. Okay, so again, we're gonna go and make another perpendicular cross section, but in the opposite direction. So we're gonna follow those two middle up right there, and so that forms a little like nice little triangle right there. And do that everywhere. Follow these two up. That did not snap where I wanted it to. There it is. There we go, get that triangle going on. You're gonna have these little gaps. We're gonna take care of that in just a minute. Go ahead and just follow through with this. Perfect, we're looking good. That looks awesome. All right, next thing we're going to take, we're going to place this one right on the edge here. We're gonna pre-place it. And you're trying to line up, see these lines right here? Yeah, look at that, perfect. Bam. I tried to line these lines up right here. This line, this line. And that worked out perfect. It's 
got craft for support. And actually, other things around it have better support, you know. But <laughs> it's going to stay there. It's going to seal up the roof. And it looks fine from the outside. I don't even think it's necessary. Like, we have shelter. And you don't really need to seal this up. Um, it's just a look thing. I kind of want it sealed up on the inside. Not that I mind having these beams of light coming in. And you might like that. I mean, it, sometimes it looks really, really awesome to let those come in. There we go, that seals it up. Yeah, I don't mind letting in some light sometimes, but, you know, maybe at the top of a wall. Not the ceiling. The ceiling is, a, uh, You know, the, the <laughs> I don't want rain coming in, okay? I just don't want to be rained on. Anyway, all right, so this is the tricky snap. So this is interesting. We're going to turn this... Yeah, so if you've got it going straight here, right there, lined up there, we're going to we're gonna angle it twice. And then we're going to try and put it right on the edge of the top of that beam right there. See that beam I've got highlighted? This little uh, one meter half beam? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put it right on the edge of that. Perfect. And then again on the other side. We're going to do that everywhere, all the way around. Two. Go. Snap. And once you have the first snap, you can line up the other one against... The first one that you placed. One, two. Like this. Snap to the beam. And then we'll snap it to the yeah, the the big central beam. There we go. One more right here. Perfect. Alright, so we're gonna go outside. Let's make a ladder and climb up there and see what that did. Do 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 do. Looking pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> I do not mind it. That looks awesome. Is that the wrong angle? Guys, did I goof? I did. There we go. All right. I, I goofed on one. I didn't get the quite uh, the right angle there. That looks great. All right. I'm also going to do this. This is a little bit of character thing. It's extra. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. And let me know what you think of it in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead and put these on everywhere. Everywhere they'll fit, anyway. Which is to say, on the end of all of these ridges. Okay, then we're going to take the beams, and we're going to connect them all. Yeah! I think that's going to give it a really finished look. I have no idea if this helps with support or not, but that's okay. Not worried about support. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why, I just like that a lot. I think that really finishes it up. Gives it a good look. Very nice. There we go. Now let's get our chimney in here. We have our chimney cover. It's huge. We have a huge chimney. This house is awesome. <laughs> it's a little extravagant. All right, let's throw some torches down so we can see what we're doing everywhere. Okay. And, uh, you know, before I forget, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap the fireplace. Always like to do this. Give ourselves a little bit of a safety safety net around our fires. You, know, you can't be too careful around the fireplace. Bam! Look at that. I uh, kind of want to do this, too. I don't know. I like this idea. We're going to kind of, like, section off. And again, a lot of this is just little detail stuff. But it's so nice. Hey! Wrong button. Wrong button! There we go. We're gonna give them a two twist each time, just to just to kind of mix it up, give the stone a little variety. Look at that! All right, now we'll go in and put our little safety barrier. A 
Well, that's super duper bright. Now I want to get rid of my little torches. There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Had a cool idea for... Where's the entrances? We've got one over there, one over here. All right. Had a cool idea for this. Let's go ahead and give this a nice little wrap, shall we? probably some crazy infinite number of patterns you can make in these and uh, I kind of like that one I don't know why but I do I'm gonna stick with it and we might use it although it's not going to come down all the way on all the sides because we're probably going to actually leave these three sides completely open so this is probably as far as that pattern will come down on these three sides so that we can use it all for cooking and accessing the fires Yeah. Oh, it's looking awesome. Guys, this looks great. This place is fantastic. Look at these windows. I really like these windows. You can actually see out of these. Do you lose your resting comfort? No, we don't lose shelter. Oh, we're just outside the fire. Just means we'll have to put some decoration in front of it. If you're too far away from the fire, that's all you need to do. Put a little decoration or a windowsill in front of the window. That way you can't actually get all the way out and you'll keep your resting comfort bonus all the way around. Okay, last but not least, let's go ahead and take one more lap around the outside. I think this looks great. That is a pretty cool looking little build. I really enjoy it. Um, let's, uh, there's, there's a few more things. I wanna throw on the front porch and the back porch, but there's one more thing on the inside I wanna work on. Let's go ahead and I wanna add a sneaky little upstairs. Oh, we've got a nice sealed up floor. And obviously the ceiling gets way too tight for us to even get consider like going back there. So we're gonna try and seal it in a little. Right there. Bam. And that lines up perfectly with the one flooring that we've got coming out uh, from the walls, which is why I'm really glad we did that. Bam. Look at that. And we're gonna seal this up by putting these angled walls and you want to snap it to this lower uh, uh, wall piece that we just put in. If you snap it to the ceiling, then it's going to stick through a good bit. We don't want that. Let's go make sure that's not sticking through. Yeah, there we go. We were going to add in these anyway, so that'll hide that a little bit. Yeah, no, that looks fine. And that's no longer showing on this. Yep, there we go, guys. All right, so we've got our upstairs. 
nice. This was, I was planning on this being the bedroom. Isn't that going to be awesome? Nice little bedroom up here. That's pretty cool. I really enjoy it. You can see the entrance. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Guys, I think that is most of the shell. Let's go ahead and get our porches on. You know me. I got to have a nice little entrance way. Let's see what we can make here. You want to seal this up a little? Yeah. As long as that doesn't stick through up top, I think we're good. Yep. Nope. That looks fantastic, guys. Awesome. What a front entrance. Right? That's awesome. All right. We need a little back entrance. I'm not going to go crazy on this one. This is just a simple back e exit. Um... Let's not get too crazy. We'll keep it super simple. had an idea <laughs> I don't know how uh, how well it's gonna work out but we're gonna try it and what I'm hoping happened is see we added one half and a half onto each side which makes it three so hopefully we'll be able to get a good roof ridge on top see what I did there it's gonna be nice
No, not with them. Not with them open like that. You still get to see plenty. I think I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. It's a little odd. I'll give it that. It's a little odd, but you know, I thrive on odd. And it just leaves the window so open still. All of this is so open. Look at this. This is fantastic. I really like this little beam out front. Oh, that looks cool. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's give this... Yeah. Nice. I don't know why I like that, but that looks really finished, doesn't it? Let's do the same thing here. Just like that. That way we can add the railings and the slope. Nice. Oh, guys. Well, this came out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> we'll, we'll mimic that over there. I think that's the shell, though, guys. I think that is it. I really don't have a name for this thing. Maybe the Summon Stone Special, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't have a name for it. Um, the Standing Stone. Standing Stone Shack. I don't know. This is a little bigger than a shack. I really am having trouble coming up with a name for it. But I think this looks fantastic, guys. This place looks really well put together. I'm really liking it. Super big, super just open. It seems like something you'd build, you know, before you go to the, uh, before you go to, uh, da -da -da -da. I'm drawing a blank here, before you go to the Black Forest. Yeah, this seems like a really good, like, you know, you know you're about to go get some good resources, so you're ready to bring it all back. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. I don't know why I like that so much. We may seal that in. I'll play around with it. All right, guys. Well, that's the shell. I hope this uh, hope this build has been awesome and easy to follow along. Again, I think it's I think it's pretty simple, honestly. I think it's a pretty simple build. There's really nothing too complicated. Um, it's super super circular, super easy. It's just pretty big. It costs a lot of lumber, I'll admit. But uh, let me get to decorating this thing. I'll bring it back for some flybys in just a little while. Let me know what you think in the comments below.
All right, everybody, guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the build for today. This one has been a lot of fun. I think I'm going to call this one the Stone Sanctuary. It is on an island, all nice and cozy by itself. It was a super easy build, or at least the main building was. All these outbuildings were really fun. I went a little overboard with the decorations and the, and the uh, outbuildings here. This was a very costly, expensive build. I wouldn't consider this a starter home. Um, this is definitely like uh, preparation to move on to the next biome. Like you're going to bring a lot of resources back here if you want to, unless you're going to go live in the Black Forest. That is anyway, enough of my chatting. I like to walk through the builds at night with you. Um, this was just meant as a little rest cabin. I've got a couple of benches, nice sitting areas, nice fire, but he can get cozy. The trail goes around it and you can definitely walk right by it. I love all the fencing for this build. There's a ton of fencing going on for this build. Uh, big open entrance way. I really like this. This really came together super nice. The inside of this place, I really like. This table is super easy, and I mentioned to someone that I'd show them how to make it, so it, I, this, this table is, is really just, guys, not a problem at all. Not a problem. So what I've, honestly, what I've done here, all I've done is, um, well, here, this will take two seconds. We'll just go ahead and do it. Why won't? Why not? Why not? Is it going to go back in the exact same spot? I cannot guarantee that, but you know, that's okay. Um, I'll, I think I'll live. I think, I think maybe that I'll live. So what I did for this, we put this somewhere about right here. Start with one of these. It was a little further back. It was, it was. I think it was somewhere around right here. Make sure it's tall enough. You want to put one of these down first go place it on top of that there we go sink it down a little bit and once you've got your spot you're literally just gonna twist it twice twist twice twist twice twist twice twist twice twist <laughs> why does that tickle me so much um, and then with this hole in the center I put I get the little square one meter peg slap that down you can slap down another um, yeah, slap down another little one meter, get rid of everything else. And bam, you've got this awesome little table. You know, I built that one a little slap. The other one was much more well-placed probably, but yeah, somebody wanted to see that. I wanted to show that off for them. I really like that. I love this bench. This bench is awesome. I love having big couches and thrones to sit on. I tried my hand at, uh, you know, organization. You know me, I'm not really big on organization in my playthroughs, but uh, yeah, we got some nice, neat, organized, uh, storage over here. Big center fireplace. I love this about the build. The big square center and the little pattern we've got going on there. Lots of smoke release. No problem. You're getting wood everywhere. I mean, not wood. Uh, you're getting smoke and fire and comfort everywhere. This is all the wood. Yeah, I love I love stacking up the beams. I don't know. It looks like I'm going to use it later. It looks nice. Hiding stone underneath things has been a lot of fun lately. Nice storage underneath the stairs. This has all come together really well. Don't you think, guys? I really enjoy this build. All the bees on the windows are getting um, enough room. They're just sleeping right now, but they are working. Uh, I really like this. It's a really big, open, inviting space, isn't it? And then I kind of hit the stair. You can see through the stairs, and I kind of hit them with these 45-degree beams. You just kind of, like, put them, sunk them in there so that you couldn't really see through them. A little bit of tight storage space up here. Another workbench, this is where we sleep. Yeah, a little balcony so you can see down and see the entrance. I really like this build. This is just super cozy. Super easy, super cozy. Let's go check out the uh, the outbuildings. We've got a couple. I love this back porch because it splits and goes two ways. I don't know why I like that detail, but I just really do. We'll start over here with the bee farm. Super simple little half shed kind of sitting waiting area, bee farm thing. I love this, super cozy super easy trails to everything we got our little dock out here nothing fancy out here i figure really you just come out here to jump in the boat and then to jump back out you know but it works and it was super easy to make this is super nice i love this little covered area and last but not least out here we've got a boar farm i haven't included a boar farm on any of the other builds and i guess to be honest i really don't do a lot of boar taming I never sit in one place long enough to really tame and breed up boar, but uh, I really like this. I don't think any of them actually go in this little boar shed I made for them, but you know, that's okay. 
Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the build today. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in the build through. We're going to keep building. I've got one more build in mind I want to do in the play in the meadows here. I always, I always confuse the plains and the meadows. Not confuse them, but I always call the meadows. But anyway, yeah, I've got one more build in mind I want to do and then I think we're going to unlock the black forest. We're going to unlock all the core wood and the fine wood and all that 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 brings and that's really going to open up our uh, our build options and menu. I'm super excited for that. So that's enough of me rambling. I hope everybody has had a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me here at the Digital Hermitage. Have a great rest of your day. And hopefully I'll see you in the next build video. It's going to be exciting. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.